Hey, what's up everybody? Omni here again. I know I said I'd get this review up a long time ago, but uh, I've just been crazy busy. So, anyways, um, there's my uh, Death Adder 2013. So rocking it. Picked up the mat since last time, Goliathus. It's pretty nice. Um, I actually enjoy playing on it. It's, it's nice and it's, it's, it's looking good. I'll show you guys my new rig. I actually uh, been building this for a while. Step over here. So this is the uh, the 900D. I've got can't see it too well, but uh, it's uh, it's all custom black and green. I did the sleeving myself, which took forever, and I got a quad rod in the top. Uh, quad rod, <laughs> so you can see it's a little bit dusty there. I got to clean that filter out. Cool thing is they're all filtered though, so you can pop the filters off, run them underwater, throw them back in, good as new. But uh, yeah, anyways, so. Back to this baby girl. So this is uh, Black Widow 2013. Uh, pretty slick. So I want to touch on a few things here. Um, I tried all of, well, sorry, I shouldn't say all, most of the MX uh, Cherry switches. And blue is my favorite, personally. I've used reds, browns, um, blues, and blacks and um, blues are my favorite i like the tactile feedback uh it's it's quite nice when you're typing uh, even when you're playing like you can hear it, it's pretty audible you know but it's really nice so the meat and potatoes here uh you've got your media keys up here so basically um if you press this this uh, function button here you can hit these media keys, which if you're if you have a uh, Windows Media Player, it'll fast forward songs. Uh, you can change the lighting. You can go into game mode. Um, you can change the level of lighting, and you can put the computer to sleep over here, and then uh, your your volumes over here. So uh, these are kind of your M keys. Uh, it's hard to see with this uh, with this green so bright. Let me turn it down a minute. There we go. So the green was a little little too bright. Um, so you can set these M keys to be any key combinations through the Razer software. Uh, really easy to use. Basically, click it, click the key you want, and uh, press your key combination, boom, it's set. Uh, I use it a lot when I was playing uh, World of Warcraft for, for certain macros or mounts or whatever. Uh, it's nice to be able to jump on. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it i mean tactile feedback really nice um you know the the quick keys the only my only problem with this is that um when these light up like your asterisk here doesn't it's just the the eight key lights up but your asterisk doesn't uh you know your and symbol doesn't basically your sub keys uh, question mark here doesn't uh yeah you guys can make fun of my my hands and thumbs i bite my nails it's my bad habit so don't smoke Drink a little bit, bite my nails. Yeah, my wife complains, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's well built, nice and solid. Uh, it's a fingerprint magnet, so you might want to keep... What I do is I, I do a 50-50 uh, alcohol diluted water mix and uh, just keep that handy and wipe things down every once in a while. And uh, yeah, uh, the software is basically included. I'll show show you guys kind of the software here um, you can just kind of flip in between what you want um, between the mouse and the keyboard um, so yeah I've tried a lot of keyboards uh, as I am a quite a uh, enthusiast and this one was my favorite um, I tried the um, I tried some Satec uh, I tried that expensive one the, by Mad Cats, uh, the one with the, the hand base right here. Ah, uh, shit, I forget what it's called. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, that was comfy, but it, it used uh, their own kind of proprietary switch. It's not a cherry switch, uh, and it's not quite a rubber dome. It's kind of a hybrid, but uh, it kind of sucks. Uh, I much prefer the mechanical switches over anything. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and any questions, comments, subscribe, throw it in the bottom. I always try to get back to you. Thanks.